over half of the children in urban center schools will not complete high school. Over 75% of their counterparts in the suburbs will graduate. In the fall of 2009, the Save a Mind Foundation commissioned a research team at the University of Pennsylvania Graduate School of Education to find an answer. The statistics are staggering about the effects of this dropout rate on our country. The research tells us of the wide difference in income on the part of high school graduates and non-high school graduates. Even more frightening is the statistic for the next decade. The Win-Win program is currently being implemented in four schools, two each in Trenton and Philadelphia, and serves 1,500 students in grades five through eight. Our program takes a three-tiered approach to improving student achievement, building the skills of success, and fostering the development of a positive, reflective, and intentional school culture. At one level, the Win-Win program offers financial incentives and positive recognition to students for making improvement and maintaining high levels of performance in academics, behavior, and attendance. The second tier, and what is proving to be more crucial to sustain student success, is the messaging system. Teachers, specialists, and administrators in our schools write positive messages to each student on a weekly basis, and these messages provide meaningful feedback about specific behaviors and events. The third tier is the intensive professional development offered by highly skilled win-win personnel. We provide ongoing support for schools to empower their students to be successful, and we facilitate the improvement of student-teacher relationships such that we can see positive growth in individual students and whole school culture. You don't realize that this could actually motivate them without them even knowing it. And then they get into a routine and they're already motivated without the money later on because they know what the rewards bring for them. I learned that if you have good grades, good things happen to you. But then when I saw them, that I know I did well. So then I thought to myself that I know I could push harder to get bigger and get more points, and I did. The kids like a little friendly competition. So I think um, whether it be against other people or whether it be against themselves, they like that idea of having something to look at that says, oh, you're getting better, you're getting better, to try to, to try to top either themselves or maybe somebody else. So I think that that is a really neat aspect of it as well. We saw the reward right away. and It was very concrete for them to have an understanding that hard work pays off. It pushes me to become better and for me to work very, very hard in school. And my parents are very proud of me and I'm very proud of myself. They, they're not necessarily motivated to do well in school because a lot of them don't have the self-esteem to do well in school. And, and so having that extrinsic motivation of, well, if you do these tasks, you'll get this reward, I think was very valuable. And they encouraged each other which at this age, kids can be so mean. And it was nice to hear them encourage each other. I have a favorite my program which is consistent with our school mission of trying to find ways to promote, encourage, and uh, reward good behavior, I think is uh, very powerful for the school and for the students. It says, congratulations, your hard work has earned you 8,900 8, points this year. Your gift card award is $89. We are so proud of your success. Leading an organization like Save a Mind is the most meaningful and important work I've ever done. The educational achievement gap was already a problem when I started my first nonprofit job 25 years ago. American students disappear from high school has tripled. I look forward to the day in the not too distant future when our innovative win-win program is in fifth to eighth grade urban middle schools throughout the country. I welcome your involvement and support to expand SAM's impact.